This is really fun. I was just gifted this multifunction electric mop and I am so excited to put this to the test on my wood floors. So let's unbox it, set it up and put it to the test. And here's how it looks when you open up the box. The manual is wonderfully straightforward and simple to understand. I always love when I can read everything in the manual without question. Now you have two sets of mopping cloths. The green are the cleaning cloths and the gray are meant to be waxing cloths. And on the bottom, they're just this soft, sticky material that is surely gonna Velcro to the bottom of the mop. They are a little squishy throughout, so they have some good give and definitely washable. And I love that it actually comes with the batteries you need for the handle remote. And then the mop itself is rechargeable and has a plug-in cord. And here is that detachable battery pack that you will want to have plugged in and charged between cleanings. According to the documentation, this should take about three hours to charge, and then it will last for 60 minutes of dry mopping or 40 minutes of wet mopping. And underneath the mop, you will get another set of cleaning cloths. I love that they come in different colors and that you get multiple sets. So if one's in the wash, you can keep mopping with the other set. And here is the main mop. You can see the Velcro right there. These will spin and this is where you just clip on those cleaning cloths. They're not going anywhere because they're Velcro connected, but they are easy to pull off as well. So I'll stick those both on for now. On the top here, this is where the water reservoir is and you can fill that up. And on the front here, this is the LED light and this is the sprayer. And this is really nice and flexible. You can definitely move it in a lot of positions and you can lock it upright. And if you don't wanna make a mess while filling up the water bin, it does actually come with a funnel and a jar for easy filling. And then the main long tube is aluminum. It is extendable, just push down and you can really extend it out as far as you want. And you do have control here. It'll snap into any of those that you want it to. And the final piece is the handle. On top, you have the power button. Underneath, you have the spray button. And right here is where you'll put in the two AAA batteries. Now the instructions say that you can fill this with water or cleaning fluid or wax. But I would be careful about what you're putting in here and if it will have buildup over time as this is not an easy water reservoir to clean. So whatever's going in there is going to be coming out on your floor over time. So I'm just gonna do water for now. And most of the time I will use my Bona hardwood floor cleaner as I love it so much. Very easy to fill up thanks to the jar and the funnel. That's ready to go. Now I'll pop the battery into the back. It really does just snap right in and if you want to come out you just press the button. So that's in. Then I put on the aluminum pole and it has these little metal pieces that will pop into place and you can see it right there and if you want to pop it out you will have to push pretty hard but you can get it out, not, not super easy. Definitely better just to keep it in. And then the handle just pops right on too. And that should be it. I should be able to hit power. Oh, and it is on. You can see it's spinning right now. And on the front, you can see those LED lights. So those LED lights will be great if I'm going somewhere like underneath the couch where I can't see as well. That'll light things up for me. You really do just snap it down and it has really nice flex. And then I just turn it on and it starts going. And then I control how much I spray. I could see how this would be fantastic for waxing a floor, but also really great at scrubbing at all those dirty spots that get to your floor. It's so light. I can barely hold on to it and it's still working away from me. That's amazing. And if I do want to, I can push down on it harder. When I push down on it harder, it does make a little bit harder sound as it's working a little harder, but you definitely could have it just scrub at one spot a lot if you want to. 
Now I just only cleaned this small portion right here that you see, and I did actually just mop this weekend. So let me see how much that cleaned up. Not too much. So I did a pretty good job of cleaning my living room, but you can still see that those are dirty. It did get dirt up. So now these are easy to just pull off and throw in the wash, and this is ready to use for next time. This is quite a step up from what I've been using. The one thing that I love in particular is that it does come with additional mop bottoms, so I can swap those out as I'm cleaning and as they build up too much dirt. I also love that it's doing all the work for me. Not only is it going to spray out my cleaning solution for me so I can stop walking around with my sprayer, but thanks to both of these spinning, it's doing so much more cleaning than I am doing as I run my mop back and forth. This is definitely a step up. I think it's very well designed and I'm really happy I was gifted it. And I think you too will love this mop.